In this uh, video lecture, I am going to explain how to do the topology optimization in uh, SOLIDWORKS. And also I am going to explain the important and essential uh, settings you need to know to get the accurate uh, topology optimization results in SOLIDWORKS. Topology optimization is a mathematical method that optimizes the material distribution in a predefined domain under a given set of loads, boundary conditions and constraints. There are various uh, finite element tools uh, used for topology optimization. Among these tools, the SOLIDWORKS have been the powerful tool for topology optimization. In this uh, video, we are mainly focused to how to do the topology optimization in SOLIDWORKS. In uh, topology optimization, I am going to explain using this uh, example. The figure 1 and 2 shows the aluminium alloy, 1060 aluminium alloy sheet metal bracket. The fixed by uh, 3 holes at the left end, here you can see. And the 25 Newton load acting on the inner surface of the hole at the right side, you can see. Use the topology optimization method to minimize the material usage for the part given below. While in optimization, they ensure that the maximum one misses stress develop not to exceed 50 megapascal. The product is going to be manufactured using the metal stamping process. This is the uh, loading diagram you can see. This is the uh, dimensions of the part. First, uh, you need to model this component in SOLIDWORKS, the, the model component. So I will give link to download this model in my video description. First of all, I am going to do the uh, finite element simulation to find the maximum uh, one misses stress, stress develop in this uh, component. Okay, let's go to the simulation, the new study, the static structural analysis, uh, click OK. Then uh, first of all, I am going to select the material, edit material. The 1060 aluminium alloy apply close. Okay, then <laughs> fixed supports the fixed geometry. Then these uh, three holes, the part going to be fixed. Click OK. Then the load is acting on this surface vertically downward. Just select that face and go to the external loads. You can see. The force, select the force. The uh, selected direction. To give the direction, I'm going to uh, give. I'm going to select the this edge to give the direction. Okay, the magnitude of the force is equal to 25 newton. Okay. Okay. Click OK. Okay, let's uh, create the mesh. So I'm going to I'm going to generate the mesh with the default uh, settings. Okay, the the mesh created. Okay, let's uh, run the uh, simulation. Here you can see this is uh, how the stress uh, distributed in this component. The maximum stress developed you can see that is equal to uh, 4.46 megapascal. The material yield strength is equal uh, 27 megapascal. So then in topology optimization we have to limit the maximum stress developed to uh, 15 uh, megapascal. Maximum stress developed to 15 megapascal. Then uh, let's move to the topology optimization. Okay, in the simulation, the go to the new study, click on the new study. Here, the topology optimization study is included in the design insight. The click select the topology study. You can give any custom name, so I'm go ahead with the default name. Click OK. Here also you have to select the uh, material it is already selected, the aluminium alloy, 1060 aluminium alloy, you can see. Then the fixtures, right click, the fixed geometry you have to give, that is uh, fixed by these uh, three holes, click OK, and the load acting. 
is uh, acting on the surface right click the forces the, to give the direction so I'm selecting this edge the 25 Newton click OK the direction is OK okay uh, in the goals and constraint property manager you should specify the optimization goals and constraint there are three options to select you can see one of the option you have to select if you select the first one you can see the best stiffness to weight ratio in this option you can obtain the best stiffness to weight ratio of the part while reducing the material here the with this option the mass constraint option is default that means you should essentially set the required mass reduction percentage here in this way if it is subject to a, a dynamic loads you can give the frequency for the part under the stress a safety factor constraint you can give any stress value that should not exceed while optimization that means you can limit the maximum stress developed in the part to a certain given value and also you can give it as a, a factor of safety as a number then it automatically converts to a stress value okay then next uh, option is uh, minimize maximize uh, displacement in this option you can uh, minimize the maximum displacement of the component while uh, reducing the mass with this option the mass reduction option is also default and also you should select the vertex on the part that you would expect to minimize the displacement and also here also you can give the frequency constraint and also the stress uh, constraints limits then the third option is the minimize mass the other one we are going to use for this optimization the minimize mass with this uh, minimize mass goal option uh, you you are free to select any of any of the constraint but you must select at least one of the constraint in this example i'm going to select this uh, minimize mass option and i'm going to limit the the stress develop maximum stress develop in the part to a specified value that is given the 15 megapascal so i'm going to select the units and the 15 is the maximum so that means in this optimization the goal is minimize mass minimize the mass for this component while the maximum stress developed should not exceed the 15 megapascal click ok you can see the work constraint in the goal minimize mass and the develop stress is less than the 15 megapascal so then let's move to the manufacturing controls right click there are four uh, manufacturing controls you can see add uh, preserve region manufacturing control this option uh, force topology solo to leave specified surface and uh, volume unchanged in the final design in uh, most of the cases uh, we can't alter the uh, mounting holes and uh, force applied areas so we must remain these areas and volumes unchanged in the optimization here i am selecting this area this is the the preso region areas as uh, this uh, supporting uh, fixed support uh, hole area and also i am going to preserve this region the load acting area and also i am going to preserve this straight edge for the component that is uh, important to align this component with the structure then you can give the preserve depth also preserve area depth let's take uh, one millimeter here you can see the preserve area depth as the one millimeter click ok then the second manufacturing control is the specify thickness control click on it under this uh, manufacturing control you can apply member size uh, restriction for topology optimization that prohibited the creation of very thin or very uh, thick regions that may be difficult to manufacture the minimum member thickness i am going to give as a 2 mm for this uh, simulation so i am not going to assign any maximum uh, member thickness i leave it as as it is i am going to give only the minimum member thickness only 2 mm click ok then third manufacturing control is specify a demold directions there are three 
options you can see the first option the optimized component can be uh, pulled out of the mold in uh, both directions away from the middle plane so in optimization the cavities are created in the both direction you can see it is graphically represented in this example uh, window then the the pull direction only the second option in this option the mold remove in one direction and in optimization the cavities are created in uh, one direction you can see in the third option stamp in a uh, pull direction only in this option the fast through cavities are created to reduce the mass in the in the example window you can see how the materials are removed in this uh, optimization for these cases we should give mold a uh, full direction by selecting the edge here this uh, part is going to be manufactured using the metal stamping process so we should select the stamping the full direction i am going to select using this edge here you can see click ok then the fourth manufacturing control the specify uh, symmetric uh, planes so if there is a uh, symmetric plane better to specify this uh, symmetric plane that will accelerate the simulation front plane has the simulation uh, yeah, symmetric plane click ok we have done all the settings so then i am going to create the mesh create mesh I am going to go ahead with this uh, default mesh it automatically decides the size of the elements depending on the input uh, parameters input settings okay click ok okay this is the the created mesh okay now we are ready to run the uh, simulation the topology optimization click on this uh, run this uh, study it takes uh, several minutes to generate the results depending on your computer system uh, performance. While uh, running the simulation, uh, you can view this uh, convergence data by click on this uh, graph icon. Here the goal, the minimization of mass. Here you can see the graph in each iterations how the mass is uh, reducing and also the, the stress how the stress is varying in each iterations you can see the mass and the stress this is how it is vary in each iterations okay uh, here you can see the optimized uh, uh, part the topologically optimized part then here you can see the uh, data the calculated element mass is equal to uh, 2.57 uh, grams the the percentage of uh, original mass is at uh, 29% that mean uh, around the 71% of mass uh, reduce from the original uh, initial uh, part but uh, we can't use the topologically optimized part directly for manufacturing because uh, you can see its uh, boundaries are so irregular so it is uh, difficult to manufacture so after obtaining this uh, topologically optimized part we should uh, modify the initial uh, part based on this uh, topologically optimized part okay uh, first of all i am going to save this uh, topologically optimized part as a part file for that one right click on this uh, results uh, material mass then go to the export smooth mesh so new part file give uh, location to save the new part file there you can give any uh, custom name so i'm going to give optimized uh, sheet metal bracket click ok ok then go to uh, model then click on this uh, view settings then click on this uh, simulation display that will override this uh, uh, material mass uh, optimized model on this uh, initial model click on this uh, material mass model click ok here you can see the initial 
uh, part boundaries are shown in here and also the optimized part also shown in here so then you are going to modify the initial part based on this uh, optimized part for that one so i'm going to remove this uh, unwanted area using the extrude cut okay click on this uh, sketch then Okay, then I'm going to use the extrude cut features, the extrude cut, then the two directions, click OK. Okay, this is our final uh, product, the optimized uh, final product. So let's see the uh, the material properties now okay this is the initial part let's see the mass properties uh, here you can see the 8.75 grams for the initial component okay uh, for this part let's see uh, its mass properties Now this uh, value is you can you can see it's uh, 5.0 grams. So the total uh, uh, mass reduction around the uh, uh, three grams. That is around 40% uh, of uh, weight reduction we achieved uh, for this uh, component in this optimization. Okay, uh, for this uh, modified part, we are going to do the uh, static structural analysis to check whether the stress limit uh, we achieved. Okay, uh, go to uh, simulation, the new study. The In this time, we are going to do the static structural. Click OK. Here you can see the new study. The material has assigned the fixed supports, the fixed geometry. These are the areas we are going to fix. Click OK. Then the external loads, the forces. On this face, we are going to apply the force uh, in a selected direction. The direction I am going to give using this edge. The magnitude of the force is equal to 25. Downward direction, OK. Click OK. OK. Uh, let's uh, create the mesh. Okay, let's uh, run the study. Here you can see in this uh, optimized part, the stress value is limited to 6.715 uh, megapascal. Okay, this is how we are doing the topology optimization in a SOLIDWORKS to optimize the mass and strength to weight ratio for the part. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you next time. Thank you.